a fun and unique backstory to this. Yeah, Christian had booked four days at Air Lindhurst for a job that he'd been employed on, but he lost that job. So there were just four free days, which is very expensive. Our aim was to to fill as much of that time as possible with productive activities because there was no way of us uh, relinquishing those days. It was the day before that Christian messaged me. I live in Edinburgh, this is in London, obviously. And he said, how do you feel about being part of a guitar library and you playing guitar? And do you have some time to curate this library and figure out articulations and everything? So extremely last minute. I flew down in early that morning that we were meant to be recording. And Christian and I picked out a guitar on a really famous street called Denmark Street in London. So we went there and sort of darted between all the shops and landed on a really nice semi-hollow body, which is what we were looking for. We were looking for quite a rich, round, toned guitar. This is the guitar that we ended up buying. Um, it's a jazz guitar. Um, initially would have been a jazz guitar. The, the model is, a, is called a K, so K-A-Y, which I don't think is that well known as a mass produced guitar. But in the 50s, they were very popular. And I tried it and in spite of all of its flaws, it was the one I just knew immediately when it was in my hand. That just sounds... Does it sound bad? That just... <laughs> Bottom end as well. Unfortunately, we ended up not being able to use it because when we got into air and plugged it in... It was feeding back a lot in the hall. We ended up having to improvise and we panicked a bit and thought, how are we going to solve this? Because this is the only guitar we have. And finally, one of the engineers at air suggested we look in the studio of one of the composers who are in residence there. So we looked in the studio and asked him kindly, can we use this Les Paul guitar? So we ended up using a Gibson Les Paul instead. We ended up buying this Supro amp in the same shop. It's a just a standard tube amp, which has just a clean signal. There's no effects on it. So the setup was me on the floor uh, in the, the church at Air Lindhurst with the Gibson and the Supro is also on the floor, um, pretty much alongside me. That was mic'd up with a Coles and I think another dynamic mic. And there was another three amps in at the top of Air Lindhurst, so near the windows at the, the top pews. There were three Marshall stacks and each of them had uh, a delay effect on them, applied to them. So they, they kind of, um, they were there for ambience and to pick up the rest of the, the hall, the space. What was it like having the whole space to yourself and being the, the only musician in the whole of this big room? Yeah, um, I th I'd say uh, daunting for sure because um, I know of all the amazing scores that have been recorded there before me uh, by world class musicians of like huge orchestras that are about 70 piece. So it felt very strange me being there on my own, but eventually when I got involved in the sound world of it all. It started to feel um, purposeful and that I had a place within that hall. Mm. Can you show us what Shimmer Guitar sounds like? Sure. So as you can see, it's just your standard Vaults GUI and there's plenty of effects to play with. Um, but I'm going to start with the completely bare bones guitar as I was uh, in Air Studios, um, just to give you an idea of the vibe. So I'm going to move on now to the first effect uh, that we have on this uh, on this library, uh, which is drive, which is just a standard uh, distortion, quite a brutal distortion, um, which adds a lot of harmonic information as well as quite a lot of grit to the signal as well. So I'm going to crank it here.
So that's the first effect. You can hear a real grittiness in that distortion. It's quite quite heavy, but you can always dial it back if it's if it's too much. So our next effect is mod, which is kind of a chorusy um, guitar effect in the vein of uh, Purple Rain. If you think of Purple Rain by Prince. Um, and it has a very nostalgic quality to it. I'll show you with it cranked up completely. So now we'll move on to the main event. Uh, it's called Shimmer Guitar after all. So we're going to move on to the Shimmer effect, which um, if any of you own the Blue Sky reverb pedal, um, we'll know what this does. But it adds a, it's basically a reverb that adds the top octave of what you're playing. And then um, Cam has very cleverly added a tremolo effect on top of it as well. So it creates this really nice aleatoric ambient bed, which you can add instruments on top of if you feel so inclined. Um, which basically just filters off some of the high-end frequencies um, so I can show you how that sounds just with um, the shimmer added as well I feel like it's a really nice effect so I'll put the filter about 10 and I'll shimmer all the way up um, and I'll show you how that sounds shaves off a little bit of that harshness um, on the top end, um, which is often preferable if you're trying to fit it into a mix, for example. I'll combine the last two uh, effects, which are echo, which is a standard delay, and splosh, which is our word for reverb. So I'll give you an idea of how those sound together. excited for people to experience it as a library and be able to plop it into their scoring projects or whatever composition projects they have because it has a really um, I think specific quality which is uh, unique to air itself. If you take air out of the equation like the studio space and everything I could have recreated any of that here just as a guitarist that would make more sense for me to do but the real draw is the space itself and the atmosphere that creates. And that's not something that is easily accessible, that has been done before. Mm -hmm. Like having a guitar, singular guitarist in air studios uh, on their own um, is not something that can easily be recreated in a studio environment. It needs to be within that moment in air. There's something really poetic about that where um, it's a moment frozen in time, um, even through all the trials that we had that day we came up with something quite beautiful, I think. So it's completely free to download, um, and uh, you can get it from the Crow Hill website, which is linked uh, down below in the description. <laughs>